Good morning, everybody. I'm Marie Koch, and this is What's Happening with North Atlantic Kids Directory. Happy Monday to everyone. How are you all doing? Hi, we are doing great. How about you? Doing wonderful. This morning, we have Heather from Young Chefs Academy here in Cumming, and she has a special guest chef. Who do we have? Noah. Noah, how are you doing today? Good. Awesome, awesome. Noah, tell me what you guys are uh, cooking for us today. Easy Spice Apple Crunch. <sighs> that sounds so good. I love apple desserts. This is wonderful. Um, what type of ingredients? Tell me what all goes into that. All right, so we have got, no, what's this? Um, a green apple. Yep. You can use any apple you want. That's right. We're going to use green apples, the Granny Smiths. We've got applesauce. Uh huh. Salt. Nope, just the sugar. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> got cinnamon. Uh huh. Allspice. And then for our crumble, we've got some oats oh. and some melted butter. Oh, very nice. What in the world is allspice? So I have thought for years and years that all spice was going to be a mixture of cinnamon and nutmeg and all of the types of spices that you would normally put on an apple pie. It's actually not. It's a dried Jamaican berry that has all of those typical flavors that you think of when you think of the, you know, cinnamon and nutmeg combination. Gotcha. Very nice. Very nice. So how do we start? What do we do? All right, so we kind of started this ahead of time because it needs to be cooked in the microwave for six to 10 minutes, and I didn't think that you would want to sit here and watch this yeah. for that long. So what we did was we took the green apple, we peeled it, and we finely diced it to chunks about this big, kind of what you would picture in an apple pie. You're gonna heat that over low heat or use the microwave, you can go either way, with some of the allspice, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a cup of applesauce. Yes. Very nice. You're just gonna wanna keep an eye on it, stir it every once in a while until it's just tender. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So then you're gonna spread it in an eight inch pan. Okay. And start working on your crumble. So we've got right here a cup of oats. Uh huh. It's going to add our sugar. Mm -hmm. Our melted butter, Ooh. our ground cinnamon. Oh, actually, that's our allspice, and I'm going to add the ground cinnamon. Wait, is all, all, allspice um, just cinnamon? No, this is Jamaican berry. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and stir that up for me. And you want that, make sure to get nice and crumbly. Okay. Good job. We need all of it. That so, looks amazing. So I'm just squeeze, scraping off the side so we get all of it. Mm -hmm. We don't need it. All right. Yeah, sure. Thank you. You're quite the chef, Noah. <laughs> yeah. He is wonderful. He's a wonderful helper. Now you want to go ahead and Add your mixture to the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, go ahead. I bought it. Show you how it's coming out so far. This is looking delicious. I love apple type uh, desserts. <laughs> Anything apple, I love it. <laughs> and this is, you know, really, it's pretty healthy. It only has one and a half tablespoons of sugar in the whole recipe. So we've got apples, applesauce, oats. So it's Do definitely, we add all of it? Yeah, we add all of it. It's definitely a more healthy dessert. Absolutely, not a lot of added sugar. Yeah, you can even switch it if you prefer mixed berries. You can add some mixed berries to the apples. Instead of whipped whip cream, you can add ice cream. Yeah, you, you could add whipped cream or ice cream. You know what has got that exactly right. So when you're done, it's going to look just like this. Yum. <laughs> and you're just going to put it under the broiler for three minutes. It's that fast. That is totally a nice, quick dessert to make. Yeah, that's really all there is to it. So you're going to brown it. Ah, that looks delicious. 
Yeah, and then that's it. You just serve it with some whipped cream or ice cream. We've got some whipped cream over here today. Nella volunteered to be our, our taster. Taster. I like that job. I think that when this is over with, I might need to come over and be a taster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We have professional tasters over here. Is that even a thing? Yes. Professional, <laughs> professional taste testers. Um, uh, delicious. Yes. Have you tried this before? <laughs> it does look really good. Have Noah, you tried this before, Noah? What? Have you tried no, this before? Pie home, but we haven't made um, oh, the yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah, the cream. So you got to get to the good stuff. <laughs> Oh, yum. That is terrific. You guys did such a great job. Thank you, Noah, as always. <laughs> My mouth is full. <laughs> That's great. Well, we're definitely going to post uh, the recipe to this posting, and folks can do this at home with their kids. And uh, in the meantime, what else happening over at uh, Young Chefs for the summer and classes and all of that? We are hoping to start camp the week after next. We're closely watching the um, governor's guidelines and CDC recommend recommendations. Okay. Our camp is three hours long. We have a morning session and an afternoon session. Uh, we have kids that, kids that like to cook and kids that like to bake, and they're lucky because we do both at every session. All of the recipes are different from week to week, so you won't see a repeat if you come join us the first week, and then again the fourth. It's going to be totally different each time. Perfect, perfect. And um, where are you located? We are at 1595 Peachtree Parkway, just a few doors down from the Kroger. Yes. You do like that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Is it cooking and baking the same thing? No, cooking is more of a science. I mean, <laughs> baking is more of a science. Cooking is more of an art form. Yep, and you do both at Young Chefs Academy, right? Mm -hmm. That's great. And how do folks um, register for your um, activities, classes, and summer camps? You can check out our website. It's www.comingga.youngchefsacademy.com and uh, register online there. Or you can also give us a call 470-297-8080. Perfect. Well, we will definitely post all that into this video. <laughs> Did you guys have anything to add before we close out today? No, we're just looking forward to seeing everyone again. Oh, until then, we'll keep cooking in the home kitchen with you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You guys have a great day.